there is a blessing in the suffering. Let me tell you, when you think about it, a lot of the people who are selling their souls is because they're looking for a way to cut corners and they want to find a way out of their suffering. The moment that people decide to cut corners and to sell out because they don't want to suffer any longer, that is when you're shortchanging yourself. You're allowing yourself to be deceived by the enemy. Suffering is such a big deal to God. He allows suffering, not because he's a mean God, but because it prunes us, it tries us, and it tests us so that we can stand the test of time. Ultimately, it's about where your soul is going to go. When you try to take a shortcut, whether you decide to sell yourself, sell your soul, or take your own life, when you're trying to shortcut, it never works because you are interfering or interrupting the process that God is trying to use for him to establish his self within you. This is how he builds relationship with us is through the testing and the trying and the suffering. How would you know God to be who he is if it wasn't for the suffering? I would always ask God, why me? Why did you allow me to suffer? Why did these things happen? And I didn't understand, but God told me that he will give me the why. He's given me the why. And the why is, if I decided to take a shortcut out of my suffering, I would not have the conviction that I have now about who he is to me. I know him to be a father to the fatherless because he has been my father. I know him to be a friend to the friendless because he has been my friend. I know him to be a provider because of the needs that I had in my life. I know him to be a resurrector because I've seen people raised from the dead. I know him to be a miracle worker because I've seen him work miracles and come through for me that you had to know that it was God. This is why he allows the suffering because it shows us who he is and it gives us a level of conviction that we would not have if it was not for the suffering. Suffering is a blessing. David said, it was good that I was afflicted. I never thought that I would get to that point that I felt that way because I'm watching people sell their soul because they want out of the suffering. They want out of the affliction and they're not allowing God to finish their, his perfect work within them. It is good that I was afflicted and I can say that. I know that if I didn't allow God to do what he did in my life, my heart and soul would be tied and wrapped up in the things of this world. People are so comfortable in their homes. They're so comfortable with their cars and their material possessions that God forbid if they lose it, they end up doing something like selling their soul. They're willing to do anything to have these things or to keep these things. And when you look at the difference between someone who takes a shortcut out of their suffering versus someone who endures to the end, the Bible talks about endurance. The Bible mentions suffering so much, but when you take the two, there's a level of conviction that a person has when they endure to the end. The Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivers them from them all. If you don't put your faith and trust in God, who are you putting your faith and trust in? Is your faith and trust in the beast system? Is your faith and trust in your material things? COVID showed us where people's hearts were. God allowed it to happen because it showed where people's hearts are and they were willing to do whatever it took to keep their possessions or to hold on to their lifestyles, that they were willing to do something to alter their DNA or their body. It's so sad how easily the enemy was able to deceive people. There's so much deception going on. There's a great awakening happening, but there's also the great falling away that's happening. Which side are you on? Are you on the side of darkness or light? Are you on the side of good or evil? Are you on the side of Christ or the antichrist? God has allowed the duality because he wants you to choose ye this day. Choose which master you will serve. Ultimately, when it's all said and done, when judgment day comes, you chose. Which will you choose? If your heart and your soul is wrapped up into the things of this world and all your material possessions, when the time of the beast, 
the mark of the beast comes, which it is coming rapidly. It is coming fast. It may even be this year. When you look at the signs, it may very well be that soon. And that's how much closer our Redeemer draws nigh. When that time comes, when people are getting the mark, will you be in line? Is your faith and trust in the system and the material things of this world? Or is your faith and trust in God? This is where the test of faith comes in at. People said during the time of this virus, at the beginning, people said they trust God. So they decided to get that thing in their arm injected. That is not putting your faith and trust in God. What would Jesus do? Would he have taken that? Absolutely not. Because everything about God, everything about Christ is supernatural. He doesn't operate on the same frequency as we do in the natural. The things that are happening and manifesting in the natural is a result of what's happening in the spirit realm. He understands the spirit realm. So he would not be doing something like that. You always have to ask yourself, what does he require? What would he do? Would you be the one to take the mark? Some people are already taking it. It's about where your heart lies. For where your heart is, that's where your treasure will be. It's about your heart. And we have to make a decision. Who will we serve? Will we allow him to complete what he started in us? If you're going through suffering right now, don't be so quick to look for a shortcut. Narrow is the way that leads to everlasting life. And that narrow path is usually tight, uncomfortable, and sometimes filled with suffering. But broad is the way that leads to destruction. That path is the direction that a lot of people are going on. You know why? Because they don't want to suffer. They don't want to trust God. And sometimes you got to suffer a little bit. But if you are walking the path of righteousness, God will deliver you. That's what the word says. I also want to read this scripture. 1 Peter 4.1 Since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves with the same way of thinking for whoever has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin so as to live for the rest of the time in the flesh no longer for human passions but for the will of god suffering is because of sin god is not a mean god he's not an evil god he allows these things for correction he allows these things for reproof he allows these things for reproach he allows these things to test and try us he allows the enemy to carry out his work. This is people's choice. It is the people's choice. Hell is not God's choice or his will for his people. However, people choose to go on this path. The Bible also says, Jesus said that if you wanna follow him, you gotta be willing to pick up your cross there is a blessing in the suffering you may not be able to see that but the suffering is so you know god a lot of people don't know god because they have not allowed themselves to suffer to know him the way that they could if they allowed him to be i am over their life he is i am that means he's whatever you need him to be the problem is people feel like they don't need him because they're so comfortable with their material possessions. They're so comfortable and that's why they'll be quick to take the mark of the beast because they don't wanna lose those luxuries. They don't wanna lose those privileges. They don't wanna lose their material possessions and their hearts and soul is wrapped up in these things. You have to detach from the things of this world. You can't be so holding on to people and things that you don't allow yourself to end up going on a path of destruction for the sake of these things. The enemy glamorizes the things of this world. He glamorizes Hollywood. He glamorizes and wants us to idolize celebrities and all that. There's a reason for that. And the reason is he wants us to go in the same path. He wants us to believe that what we have is not enough. He wants us to believe this is better, that is better. These people who are celebrities, 
they are trapped. They are in bondage. We know the truth. All of this is all coming out. God wants us to choose. He's given us the opportunity to choose. Wherever your soul goes, it was your choice. Choose this day. It won't always be like this. There's an end to suffering. God wants you to set your treasures in heaven. He wants you to have everlasting life. He doesn't want you to think that prosperity and success is predicated upon your possessions because you can't take that stuff with you to the next life. You have to be so in love with God that you're willing to let go of the things of this world. The time is coming when the Antichrist is gonna be revealed. You're gonna know the truth about who he is and you have to decide, will I choose life or will I choose death? Will I get that mark? Choose ye this day who you will serve. You have to make a decision. The time is now.